It's Q Kelly, you know how we rock it, man. Look, Q Vandross in the building. You know what I'm saying? Q Popovich, all those. I'm an ass, man. You know what I'm saying? I love the booty, you feel me? Um, really, I ain't, you know what I'm saying, for the breasts. You know, I mean, I would. If she got it, that's great. But, you know what I'm saying? As long as she, you know what I'm saying, she tight. You know what I'm saying? She can be a little thick on the thicker side. As long as she, you know, carry herself well. And, you know what I'm saying? She got the booty on. You know what I'm saying? That's what I like. Two occasions. My ex, I spent about $550 on Valentine's Day. Um, will I say it was a regret? Uh, nah, not really, because it was like my first Valentine's that I really spent money on a female before. So I look at it, it was an experience for myself as well. Um, and then, like I said, that was probably, what, $550? Yeah. Would I do it again? Uh, it had to be like right circumstance with my girl that I got right now. Megan Good, and I'm gonna go with Amber Rose. People look at her like kind of wholesome, but she still look good at the same time. Mm -hmm. And then Emma Rose, you know, everybody just look at her. She's like a sex symbol for our culture. So them two mixed together is just the perfect combination. Yeah, um, definitely social media, it give us a false sense of uh, reality. Um, with a lot of females nowadays, they project themselves a little higher than what they think they are. They think they're better or they want a uh, nigga with money, they want a nigga with accolades and stuff, but they don't put anything to the table. They think just sex or just looking good can get them where they need to go. And I think uh, guys have a big uh, role in that as too as well because we hype those situations up as well. You know, we all look at, girls are looking up to the Instagram models, girls like that, the girls that strippers, bottle girls, and then the guys, we, we glorify that lifestyle instead of saying, hey, I want the girl, she real cute, she got everything going on for herself, and she trying to be a doctor, she trying to be a lawyer, she trying to be something. So I think we're glorifying the wrong type of people to set example for this culture, but to each his own. And I think that's really affecting a lot of ways how people you know go about day in and just how the female mindset is, is about going out to get a dude that's this, that, and the third, but they don't have nothing to offer themselves. Deal breaker, uh, teeth gotta be right. I mean, at least clean, you know what I'm saying? I don't really care, a girl can have, you know, some gaps, this, that, and the third. Teeth gotta be clean. Um, two things that I hate that a girl does during sex gotta be, you cannot be lazy. Um, we at this age now, you should be knowing how to do different tricks, different positions, everything. I need that effort. You just can't lay down and turn around and just flip over. You need to be putting in just as much work. If I'm sweating in that bedroom, you need to be sweating. And I think the second one gotta be teeth during head. Like, I feel like that's just one of the most things that turn you off about just even getting, you know, head from a female. She used teeth, don't know how to, you know, don't know really how to give oral head. So, I mean, oral sex. So definitely, uh, being lazy and just using teeth. And I, I really think those are two things that females struggle with right now, to be real.